Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Lelouch, a board-certified OBGYN physician with over 30 years of clinical experience. Today we're going to talk about cryotherapy of the cervix. It's a treatment for abnormal pap smears. There's a few other purposes, but that's the main purpose. So, generally speaking, you will uh, be offered the treatment of a cryotherapy uh, if you have uh, some slight damage to the outer part of your cervix. So if this is your cervix, there's the inner part, the outer part. If the outer part has some damage from the HPV virus, that damage can be called mild dysplasia, moderate dysplasia, severe dysplasia. Dysplasia just stands for abnormal cells, and it's related to the human papillomavirus, the HPV virus. If you have that damage, then cryotherapy is a way of removing the damage that the virus has caused. We don't know how to get rid of the virus itself, uh, although we can help prevent it with the uh, vaccine. One of the brand names for that is called Gardasil that you would have when you're younger. But uh, the cryotherapy is a way of burning those cells off with cold. It's uh, variously uh, done, but generally speaking, for four minutes, uh, just like getting a pap smear, you have a little probe that is placed on your cervix and some cold is brought in and it makes those, it freezes those bad cells. It causes a little bit of cramping, not too bad. Most women say that the worst experience about it is afterwards they have a discharge that lasts about three or four weeks, two to six. Um, and so afterwards I wouldn't plan on going swimming, taking baths, showers will be fine, or going on vacation. Uh, but otherwise it's a highly successful uh, procedure uh, and uh, 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 very well tolerated. It does change a little bit of the way that you can uh, labor. So if you're planning on having kids, we have plenty of women who had it, but sometimes you get a little scar on your cervix that can alter the way you labor so your cervix won't dilate, won't dilate, and then all of a sudden it does dilate. Also, a slightly higher chance of something called incompetent cervix that can interfere with a successful pregnancy if you have repeated treatments. I've never seen it with only one treatment, but certainly you want to do, take the steps that your provider will uh, inform you to reduce your chance of recurrence of the uh, dysplasia of your cervix, the damage to your cervix. And the key thing that you can do, the most important thing that you can do is to quit smoking. Now, how do I know you smoke? Well, in my experience, about 95% of all women who are getting this treatment are smokers. That doesn't mean you are. And if you're not, great, don't ever take it up. And also eat your green vegetables and take folic acid. Folate helps your body fight off that virus. Okay, so uh, there are also other videos on leap or conization procedure. Uh, and uh, uh, so there's more information available to you. I hope you found this uh, helpful. Please leave your comments. Thank you.